Okay, the color phase of this intruder, the color is going to be in the chartreuse color, chartreuse and black. And we're going to start with a shaded chartreuse minnow head brush at the rear of this fly. This is a great king salmon fly when the fish are straight out of the salt water. Really effective color. Now, you know, I, I here in Oregon, I, I tend to fish comets and bosses and clousers up in Alaska. My friends tend to fish intruders like this one. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be fishing this same fly here other than I get stuck in my ways. A couple years ago when I thought I was going to get to go to Alaska, the trip didn't work out, but I tied the heck out of flies like this. Anyway, I tied up a bunch of chartreuse intruders for going to Alaska and then the trip didn't work out. It was a big disappointment. But I wound up having really good spring chinook fishing here. Um, so, you know, sometimes things just work out the way they're supposed to. I'm going to give this fly a fair amount of spicing up which is going to include some grizzly rubber legs at the rear of the fly as well as on the fore wing. So these are a little bit shorter in back than they are in front so I can just put them on and hold them over. I'm going to put a little bit of lateral flash in the back as well. Now it's interesting what my friends are telling me about fishing these flies up in Alaska um, is that when the fish are fresh in these big bold flies are just what those aggressive fresh fish want. But as the season goes on and they're fishing on fish that have been there for days, weeks, they get a lot shyer, a lot more shy, and they wind up uh, using smaller flies very often. So um, that's something to keep in mind. So uh, th this, this fly is big and bold enough that I would consider it an early season fly from, from what I've heard. This is uh, our chartreuse flat diamond braid for the body. Come on. There we go. Looking good. My rubber legs are behaving themselves adequately. Need to flick these guys out of the way once in a while. It's always something to adapt as you go along. Okay, now I'm going to tie a... Where's my minnow brush? My chartreuse. They make an EP anadromous brush as well. That's a... Uh, nice bright chartreuse color. Uh, but and then the fibers are a little bit longer, but they're not packed as densely. So I, I actually like this better because it's packed so densely. So about three turns there.
Now what am I going to do? First I'm going to give it a little brush. Make sure everything is behaving as it should. And then, what the heck, let's throw on a chartreuse marabou feather my hackle pliers here. I might be able to hold that adequately with my fingers but I might not so I'm not going to take any chances. This is a it's a very short section of marabou and I pre-selected it because it had a nice slim center quill and it really was. Look at how nicely it's winding. That's a bonus. Now these flies, you'll find the dye in, in marabou will bleach out. So you don't want to, you know, when you fish a fly, that's great. But when, you, when you're finished fishing it, try not to just put away a bunch of wet flies together because your black and your chartreuse will I'm having a hard time getting a hold of that the black will run into the chartreuse and the chartreuse will bleed out will wash out which is not what you want um, I'm going to throw on I think I'm going to spice this up with a Kingfisher Blue Hackle. And I can already see I'm headed for trouble because I've got more space in the front of this fly. I, I, I want to avoid overly dress, overdressing this fly. So let's see how I let's see how I manage to achieve my desired outcome, or if I do, we'll critique this at the end. Of course, I'm probably going to say, "Oh, that's a nice looking fly." I usually do. Just just a little spoiler there. There's chartreuse blue. I think I'm going to throw on another chartreuse. Now, don't go accusing me of just tying a popsicle because this is not a popsicle, even though it might seem like it is. Even though it might share a lot of the properties of a popsicle. This is an intruder. So I think I like the blue hint in there. And this final hackle is going to put me about where I want to be next to those eyes. So it's working out just fine. I thought I was just going to wind two marabou feathers, but I wound up doing three. Now, I try to get that stem short. So, we're going to throw in some lateral flash on top. Some people like to put in a big hunk, and that's fine. I should do that, you know, but. Just, just keep in mind that you, you can. You are capable of doing it. You may. You have permission. Might even be a good idea at times. And I'm going to use a... I'm going to use blue grizzly. Hackle points. Nice. 
nice and long. Hold it to this side, I try to match them up about the same length. And then transfer it over there. And it really is funny, you know, tying silver Hiltons and tying spruce flies with hackle point wings, it, it seems really quite a challenge at times to get those feathers to lay the way you want them to. Where's my feather? There it is. But these little narrow grizzly saddles seem to just go on there so nicely. Do I want any black ostrich on top of this fly? Let me take a look. Let me see if I just get four strands. Let's see how that looks. There might be five in there. Yes, I do. And I'll pretend I had always intended to put those there. There we go. Even though I wasn't at all sure. Now, to finish this fly off, where is it? It's my Summer Lats black and red brush. It's a three inch wide brush. And I'm going to start it out here behind the eyes. But most of the material is going to be in front of the eyes. I'm actually going to see if this makes it easier. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab the wire brush in my hackle pliers and see if that makes it easier to... Oops! Let me just slip off of there. Let's try this again. Try to pull those hairs back. I like to get a couple of turns here in front of the eyes and I think it is helping to hold that in my hackle pliers but I do need, I am getting some fibers wrapped underneath Think about, I'm almost done. Now I have one turn over that wire and I want to get another turn and then push that the butt of the wire back and then wind in front of it. Tie down most of the loose ends. I won't get them all. Now I could be using a dubbing in front of those eyes as well. But at the moment I'm using a brush. Let's see if I can trim a few more. So, I said we'd do a critique, and I said I'd probably say it looks like a good fly. Guess what? Let's do a critique. Wow. Looks like a good fly that came out just right. Where's my light? 
I don't do this all the time, but you see those red fibers in there? How that chartreuse lights up. Okay, here we have a King Salmon Intruder OPST Shank Grizzly Flutter Legs Kingfisher Blue Grizzly Saddles It's a great fly, really nice fly. Thanks.